Hello, this is CCSG Corp, and today we will be demonstrating how to set up your DDNS or Dynamic Domain Name Server on DVR units HA-442B and HA-842B. For those that do not have much knowledge in setting up or managing a network IP, the unit provides an easy-to-use tool with DDNS connection that automatically detects and manages your IP for you. So as soon as it is set up, you do not need to worry about it. To perform this, right-click anywhere on the screen and go to Main Menu. Go to Network Setup. And have your mode on DHCP. Make sure your unit has already automatically detected your IP address. If it is not, exit the menu, save the current configuration, and restart the menu so that it can. If it still does not detect an IP address, check your network cable with the lights on the network cable jack. A steady green light indicates the network jack is working properly, while a yellow blinking light indicates an internet signal. Once your IP address has been detected, click on DDNS Setup, and then check the button for ON next to DDNS. The unit provides four free servers for you to use. Two of the servers are international. If you wish to acquire your own login free of charge, contact or email us, and we will provide you with your own free login information on our CCTV DVR server. Otherwise, you may use whatever server you wish. For this demonstration, we will be using the CCTV DVR server. Under host name, we will be using our own ccsg21.cctvdvr.com.tw we will be using CCSG21 for both username and password fields. Exit the menu to save your configuration. Here, we recommend that you restart your unit. Once your unit has rebooted, go back to your network setup menu. Make sure all information has been applied and saved after the restart. Now you can go to your computer to ensure your network is working properly for remote viewing. Remote viewing is only compatible for Internet Explorer. Enter in the host name we used earlier in the video into the address bar. This is the host name we will be using. You should be taken to a login screen. Enter in the username and password for your unit. Log in, and everything should be working properly. That's it. Thank you for watching our video.